Hey folks, Kenny Quest here along with Christina, our lovely Kenny Quest correspondent. But let's go check in now with Pedro at Wando Moto Garage and see how he is doing with the progress on the soft tail build. All right, guys, we're here at Pedro's. We're going to do an update on the progress of the build on the Franken Glide, and we'll see what progress Pedro has for us. Hey, what's going on? Wearing sunglasses at night almost. Absolutely. Corey Hart, man. Yeah. Love the 80s. Don't tell anybody. This is the how it's coming together. Keeping it a secret. The Looking end, sweet. That. Yeah. Ooh, I love those that tail light right there. That's awesome. It's two turn signals. Left and right, okay. But it doesn't work as turn signals. It's Brake light? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? The big front end and all that? That was the, the whole secret behind it. I might do a custom. Is that a 21? What? 21 yeah, inch? It's a 21, yeah. That's nice. But I'm putting like the, the vintage tire and all in that. So is that a sporty? No, man. That's an Evo Big Twin. Like you're, it's okay. the same thing. Same setup. Okay. But a six speed transmission and an 80 cubic inch. So what's the what's the frame on that? Hardtail frame, custom made. Okay. Yeah, sports are gassing from the 80s. Sweet. In a bunch of parts, I've been hacking out of different projects. Nothing on this bike is new. Maybe I like the that grips. cover right there. Look at that. Milkbone does those. The timing cover. Yeah. Yeah, Milkbone makes it. He makes one that will match your sports. You can go get some whenever you want to, so like to match your bikes with it. If you look at it, the setup. If I change the seat and the rear fender, I put a sissy bar. It's 70s looking. I was going for that 90s look, but. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of details. You'll see. Yeah, love the color. Thank you. It's getting there, dude. Let's look at yours. Yours is like, you know what that means when it's in the middle of the garage. That means we're... It's, that's the bike being worked on. I decided to internally wire your stuff. So I'm on the process of internally wiring everything, soldering. That's what I was going to do today. You had a little bit of a hack job going on here. I don't know what the hell they did around here, but this is all messed up. I have to redo all this, so. See what you did there with the paint. Still not not 100%, I'll buff it more. But I sanded it down and buffed it and sanded it down and buffed it until I got it like pulled the stop out. Now I just need to buff it more. You know, I need to like fine sand it and buff it a little bit more and it's done. You got new throttle cables, you got it. I'm putting a new uh, brake cable because this one is too long. These were too long. The clutch cable is actually not long like you know not too long compared to the other stuff are these the new controls no no those are the old ones okay i'm doing everything i'm like using the lift to organize everything i'm going to do the next day so, so what's what's done i mean done 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 you can't even start dude you gave me so many things to do i can't even remember what i've done so we got one of the covers on we got the grips on we got the handlebars on some the cables. headlights, the cables. Yeah, let's look at the headlight. The detail light assembly. By the way, I couldn't use what you got. I put your ignition switch. How does that work? You open it up. And oh, you okay. lock it or unlock it. I always leave it unlocked. Right. So that kit worked. Yeah. Sweet. And um, what you got me doesn't fit in there, so I just put an LED bulb for now. Okay. Yeah, it didn't fit. It didn't want to work. So there's a light on the license plate tag. It actually flashes when you press the brake. Oh, so it's it got flashes. that feature? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's old. It has a couple of LEDs that took a trip. Yeah. But it still works. You want to leave it or you want to remove it? I can leave it. Yeah. The old look. And I'm going to put these as running lights. I think the whole idea with the, that thing you got is like running lights, brake lights, everything, right? Yeah. It's, it's got so you got to have everything doing the same. Yes. Awesome. This is... I already installed it, but it's missing so many of the wires in the back that I need to check what's going on. Probably when I remove those, because I'm going to remove your wheel, right? Remove the brake. I'm going to remove your wheel and uh, do the the rotor and the brake caliper, and I'll remove those things. So what I'm doing these next days is the whole front end is going to be done. Hell bars, brake. I'm going to put everything back together, and then I'm going to move all the way to the back and finish it because everything is laid out, ready to, ready to do. And I went and bought some bolts, I had to buy bolts for this. I had to like check other stuff, 
I have to buy bolts for this too, and ma I'm making a spacer. I have this spacer, but I don't know. It looks good, but I still don't know if I'm, that's what I'm going to use. Looks like I got some touch-up I still got to do here. Mm-hmm. Back there. Yeah. I'll tell you, come on by, like, next week, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, do the touch-ups and take it for a ride, because that's my plan. Oh, really? I want to get it done. Yeah. I was looking at the calendar. Oh, it's... I want to get it done. 112 wanna... days as of today. I take my time when it's projects like this. Perfection. No, it's just getting to it. It's back and forward. I have tons of projects like that that it's like back and forth. And then like when somebody comes in with a service, with a customization that's in and out, I got to do it. Yeah. I got to really get it done. If I had people helping me, I it would be different. I would just do the projects and have everybody else do tires and oil changes and stuff like that. Yeah, maintenance person. Yeah. I'm Good not, problem to have though, right? Yeah. Well, I've put a lot of miles on my Sportster since I bought this. So That's I good. feel more comfortable riding it. Oh, you're going to love this thing. The throttle response is going to be different because it has a CB. You want throttle response with a Makuni. But this will do. You all get the... You're going to be cruising, man. We're all going to be cruising. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the light over here, you said you thought this was turn signals, right? That's what they said. Nope. This is just running light or a yellow light and both come out at the same time so it's not turn signals so. so that's not good you don't need turn signals in the front why not i need people up if i'm turning what are they going to do oh. but legally you only need one set of turn signals in the i'm more concerned about the idiot coming this way and i'm trying to turn that way oh, okay so, so we just gotta like well i here's my choices how, how many wires do we have available a lot i think these are running all the way from the front that's why I'm like, what the hell? Why is it the turn signals? Why are they coming all the way from the front? Why are they coming from here? So they pulled the front turn signals to the back. And now I gotta find the back turn signals. Where is it hooked up and they're missing? So this is like what might stop me. So like start taking things apart to figure out. So it's missing the wires that go to the back. It only has a couple here, you know? Yeah. So I don't know what's going on. They pull those in and like it goes around through this, through this thing over here. What's this? This is what makes that stroke flash thing. I might remove it and just put it like... Right. Yeah. And you see all these over here? What was that harness that I got for you? Hmm? Remember the harness that I got for you last time I dropped it off? Is uh, that... It's over there, right? I don't know. I gave it to you. Custom Dynamics? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's already hooked up. This, this actually piggybacks from here to here to the plug. But the plug over here in the beginning, it has everything. And then it comes up and it doesn't have shit coming up. So it's that buried piece, somewhere in there. It's somewhere. I don't know if they cut it, they remove it. It's just the fact that, like, they had to pull all the way from the front the wiring for the turn signals over here. Because these are the turn signals now. It doesn't make me happy. So I'm going to have to pull all this under the gas tank to the front. Probably have to remove the gas tank to do it right. The so, one option, and I don't, I'm not sure how it works with those covers, mm -hmm. is they make these LED circle rings that go around oh yeah 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 that will do you can put it down here around here right. in this area okay so they just glue in there then a cell stops here you're saying so it can go right in there no no that, that slides down it goes all the way on the bottom you can put it i mean you can put it up here if you want to that's usually the way they so do. i'd have to get a measurement of that to see mm -hmm. to see i can get it to you for you otherwise it. we're up here up here you can put up here I'm, a, I'm internally wiring everything now it's the time to want to change shit but if you want to keep this clean those will look cool actually those will look really cool and i like them because they just stick in there a little bit around they don't need to be all the way around just right a little bit i just don't know how it comes i'm just looking at a picture one dimensional I, I might have some inside so i have it yeah i will do that i can look it up those things are not expensive so you're saying that this front headlight, this is just a, a, a daytime light? Daytime running light. Is it working now? No. It's not working. Oh, I know I stopped working. I disconnected all this shit. Okay. So. This is white. If my light switch is on, if I flip the light switch, what happens? These come out white because I connected the white. And if not, it would be bolt yellow. There's not a switch for each side. The switch activates both. Okay. So what are these lights in here? Those two and then. Those are running lights too. Those help out. Those are always on. Those are always on with the... This with is high beam? High beam, I think it's the top one. This no, no, this is the... The high beam is this one, yeah. So 
So I'll just pull all those wires from the front and do that. And these I'm just going to run in internally and then I'm going to sleeve them so they don't cut up in the, in the edges here. Let's go from here here. I didn't want to do it internally, but then I looked at it and like it didn't look good going through the outside. So yeah, you're never going to change these. You're going to love them. Because they're pulled back, they're going to yeah, be comfortable. they look perfect. I mean, if you want to sit on the bike and, and see how good it feels, like sure. I'll set it up. Like a glow. And it's really relaxed. Like a glow, hell yeah. You're just going to be cruising on this thing. This is like, really relaxed. It's a cruiser, dude. Definitely going to be a little ripper. You're going to feel better on that thing than you do at higher speeds, it feels so good on these bikes. Lower speeds is when it's weird, because you will drag the pack once you get the hang of it. You're going to drag the, the, the boards. Really? You, you really can do crazy stuff at slow speed. You won't even believe the, how easy it is to maneuver. You're going to drag packs. I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to drag packs at slow speeds. You're going to be like, what? I look like a cop right now? I don't know. I mean, that, that was one thing. I didn't address any of the suspension, the, the four tubes. I didn't address the shock. You'll get to that. I mean, I'm assuming it's okay. It is. I took it for a spin, remember? Oh, you're okay. Before I even started working on it, I wanted to make sure everything was good. That's why I told you the rear brake. I told you all that stuff. So, yeah, my goal is before Christmas, get all the customer bikes, if not most of them, delivered. My Christmas thing. And I'm working on... Working. How, how does this work? What? The switch thing? Yeah, oh, there it is. I see it. It works, dude. It's just dead. Oh, that's 58. I thought it was 53. No, that's good. It's a evil. It runs for 100,000. It still won't give you this. Now, it does, does it have a gas light at all? I don't see any gas indicator. Oh, come on. That's old school. You don't need that. How do you know how much gas you got left? and you feel like sputtering, you will learn this and then you just go down here and you turn into reserve on the other side. And then you just, I'm going to teach you what time you watch reserve, what's not. You got off on and reserve. And once you turn reserve, you got 30 miles to get to a gas station. You're 30 right? miles. Yeah, that's okay. Enough. And Florida, you have a gas station. Yeah, yeah. Florida. I say 30 miles if you go slow. If you, if you rev, you got 10 miles. It seems like we're going to put some bushings the way you're grabbing it. Want some solid bushing? I have no idea what you're talking about. It won't move anymore like that. I'll put some solid bushing. Okay. All right, guys, that's the update from Pedro on the Frank and Clyde build. Looks like uh, we might be up and running in a few weeks. We'll see. So take off the top now? No, no, don't take off that top. We're not ready for that yet. No, no, definitely not that top. We can't do that. No. We'll see you next time. Take care. Well, let's, let's see what happens. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell for notifications. Bye for now.